Hi everyone, and welcome back to my channel. It's Nurse Amra here today. I want us to discuss this year's World AIDS Day team, which is a resilience and impact. Every year on the first day of the December, the world celebrates World AIDS Day as, as a way to raise awareness of HIV and AIDS. So, and also, it is also in this day that people that have HIV or those that have migrated to AIDS are being remembered, encouraged, and supported. So I'm doing this video to reinforce the fact that we need to take precautions. I'm going to look at what resilience and impact is and how it to how important it is to people that have HIV and AIDS. What is resilience and impact? And before we even talk about what resilience and impact is, I believe that this year team was chosen in order to talk to the psychological impact of this particular infection on the patients that have it or on the relations of such patients. So resilience is your ability to, to adjust very well or to bounce back to your pre-stress level. And stress in this particular aspect is HIV and AIDS is a very big stress both to the patients and to those that are caring for them because they tend to take their drugs every day in order to keep their CD4 count level to the normal that is being needed. So they are talking to HIV infect, infected persons that they need to build their resilience up in order to be able to face this infection and come out victoriously. Now, there are six ways in which one can achieve this resilience and I'm going to talk about them. That is the domain of resilience. The first one is you should know that your vision, your vision before you got infected is still standing there. I'm talking to people that do not get it as from childhood. Your vision before you get this, you have vision before you tested positive, you have your purposes, you have some goals that you want to achieve. Those visions, they are still there. You can still achieve them. Then the second one is your composure. Your composure, the way you manage the emotions. I know sometimes it will just come over to that person who oh, I'm going to die. No, that you have HIV is not, is not a ticket that you're going to die. It's not a ticket that you're going to die. It depends on how you manage it. If you're able to take your drugs every day and if you're able to stay positive to this, you can compose yourself. You don't need to be crying before people. You don't need to allow people to sympathize unnecessarily with you. Compose yourself. Compose your emotions. Know how you handle yourself before people, especially those who may not understand what you are passing through. Then the third way that you can build your resilience by reasoning. You have your you have your resourcefulness. There are some people even before you got the, 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 the disease, people do come to you to seek advice. People do come to you to take a lot of things and because you've gotten this infection, you think that those things can just fly away. No, they cannot just easily fly. Still stay yourself, still advise people, still share your expertise with people that really want to, to get it. The only thing is that you need to now be more extra careful to make sure that there is no mixture of anything that has to do with blood with such persons. Then another one that is another, the fourth point is very important. That is your health. You should not joke with your nutrition, your sleep and exercise. And now you are not to be doing vigorous exercise, but eat enough food, especially food that help to build your immune system get enough sleep and exercise when necessary then fifth one is tenacity you need to be realistic your optimism yes you know you have your visions you want to achieve everything that you have in mind irrespective of that this disease is in vogue you can still achieve that but you need to make your optimistic goals to be realistic to you need to be persistent also in working towards achieving your goals then another one is another one is the final one is collaboration in case if all these things i mentioned you think that you've passed through them you you actually you've done something about that then you can collaborate and the way you can collaborate is by is by supporting networks you can support ngos that are, that are talking about health or some organizations that that focus on helping people that have HIV and AIDS to improve their health you can 
donate to such networks or you can even be part of such networks to educate people with your own self that these are the six domains of free silence that when you walk through it it will help you to be able to adjust to well even in the face of hiv and possible AIDS, and also to be able to be impactful to the society yes you as a hiv patient you can be very useful and more useful to someone who doesn't have hiv and AIDS. so